the menstrual cycle. I'm going to give you a bit of a brief synopsis about how the menstrual cycle works, just to keep it really short so you understand the mechanics behind it. So we're going to take a 28 day cycle as being an average or normal cycle. Don't worry if yours isn't, because for a lot of women it's not. But just working on the assumption that it is 28 days, you'll understand the mechanics. So on day one, we're going to take that as being the first day that you bleed. That basically means that there hasn't been a successful pregnancy and the kind of soft uterine lining that's been built up for implantation is being shed because it's not being used. So for the first five, maybe six days, that's when there should be a bleed. First day and second day quite heavy, getting slowly less and less. At this same sort of time, hormones are going to be building up higher and higher in an effort to get the egg to mature and rupture from the ovary. This is caused by two hormones one of which is called follicle stimulating hormone, the second of which is called luteinizing hormone. When luteinizing hormone reaches a height, it basically causes the egg to rupture. Just before that happens, at around day 10 or 11, the body's getting itself prepared for the possibility of a pregnancy. So what happens is the cervix drops a little bit and it also produces fertile mucus. And this is kind of like a a clear discharge that looks a little bit like egg white. Uh, more on that later. Also at the same time, your body temperature rises a bit. Then, at around day 14, the egg should rupture and start making its way down the fallopian tube. If there is a successful pregnancy, it means that the egg has embedded itself into the uterine lining, then there's a feedback mechanism that basically lets the hypothalamus know in the head, that's the one that produces the hormones, that there is a pregnancy. So the normal system of shedding the uterine lining doesn't need to happen. However, if there isn't a pregnancy, then the body knows that it needs to shed that lining, the hormone surge will go down, and the system needs to start again. So, just before day 28, you might experience symptoms of breast tenderness, maybe some kind of cramping, um, maybe some kind of mood changes. This is just um, an altercation to do with the hormones. Around day 28 is when the cycle should finish and you should once again bleed. That is, that's it. If you want to find out a little bit more, there's a fantastic um, film made by Disney in the 50s. If you type into Google or into YouTube, the menstrual cycle, watch that and that will tell you a little bit more.